welcome back to another video. I am your video host, Teacher Peter. I am going to be introducing another English tense today. This one is present perfect tense. Now, this one's actually pretty easy, but there's one thing that makes it a little bit tough for people who are new to it, and that is the use of a certain participle called the past participle. You may not know what it is, but almost definitely you know what some of them are. So let's take a look at this and see if you can figure it out as you go. All right, so here we are looking at present perfect tense. As usual, we're gonna follow the same structure as the other videos. And we're gonna start with when do you use it? After that, we'll talk about the mechanics of how you use it. After that, We'll get into some examples, normal sentences that use this. And finally, I'll give you some practice questions that'll get you using it yourself. So without any further ado, let's get started. When do you use it? The present perfect tense is used when talking about experiences from the past, a change or a situation that has happened in the past, but is still continuing today. It's also used to talk about things that you're proud of, things that you have achieved. Okay, for example, I, I have already climbed Mount Everest by myself. Wow, that's amazing. There are some keywords to look out for. So right there they are right there. We have before, ever, never, since, and already. These are the keywords that you should be aware of when you're practicing present perfect tense. One keyword that I didn't write there because it's super obvious is the word have. In Chinese, most of the time, have is used like to talk about things that you possess, things that belong to you. But in English, we also use have as a word that denotes present perfect tense and other perfect tenses. So how do you use it? It's pretty simple in terms of its structure. It's just noun, have or has, and then a special form of the verb called the past participle. So past participles are words like seen, eaten, drunk, brought, and watched. In many verbs, even most verbs in the English language, there are only two forms. There's a present tense form and then there's a verb ed form. But irregular verbs, you have to keep, out, uh, keep in mind that some of them will have a third unique form. All right, let's look at the word eat as an example. So eats, present tense form, eat, past tense form, ate, and now our past participle is eaten. So that's what we're talking about here. We're talking about that third form. In a word like watch, it has watched for its past tense form, but there's nothing special about it. So this word will also have watched for its past participle. So most words in the English language are like that, most verbs, but the funny thing is that we have a funny way of having most of the most common words in the English language actually have uh, a past participle form that is unique, okay? So let's keep that in mind going forward. So, you know, we have see, saw, seen, eat, ate, eaten, drink, drank, drunk, bring, brought, brought, and then you have words like take, took, taken, and hundreds more, okay? If you know them, you know them. If you don't, you don't. So just keep that in mind. When you're practicing this video, you just have to do your best. You may not know these words. You may not know the the past participles and therefore you can't do that much right now. But when you learn them, and you will, it will become a lot easier once you understand the structure of these sentences. So how do you use it or how do, examples of how to use it? Excuse me. I have never seen that movie. I have never seen that movie. So this is a pattern that you should know. Have never done, have never seen, have never been to, have never eaten, I have never blah, 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 okay? So, I have never seen that movie. 
I have never been to Disneyland. I have never eaten stinky tofu. All of these are the have never form. And when you see a have never sentence, guess what? That's going to be a perfect tense. Next one. My brother has taken the test already. My brother has taken the test already. Straightforward. Brother is he, so he has. That's the verb you're looking at for deciding is it has or have, okay? So my brother has, my brothers have. Keep in mind, the noun will impact have or has in perfect tense. So my brother has taken the test already. My friends, more than one, have taken the test already. Vicky hasn't been to Korea before. I haven't been to Korea before. Tom and Mark haven't watched that show yet. She hasn't watched that show yet. We've finished that book already. So let's take a look at these sentences one more time. I want you to take a minute to see if you spot any of those keywords that I mentioned before. So go ahead and take a look. All right. There are basically keywords in every one of these sentences. You have never in the first sentence. You have already in the second sentence. You have before in the third. In the fourth, you have yet. And you also have already again in the last sentence. These words mostly will appear in perfect tense sentences. So keep an eye out for them. If you see one of these words, and have or has in a sentence, you can almost say for sure, without even thinking about the structure of the rest of the sentence, that this is a perfect tense sentence. All right, let's take a look at some practice questions really quick. Have you ever eaten stinky tofu? So, let's try to understand what the question is actually asking us. Have you ever, that means in your life, at any point, have you done this thing? Did you do this thing before? So, have you ever eaten stinky tofu? You either say, yes, I have. Have you, have you? Yes, I have. Or, no, I haven't. Okay? Have you ever eaten stinky tofu? Yes, I have eaten stinky tofu. No, I haven't eaten stinky tofu. Number two, almost the same. We don't have an ever in the sentence, but the grammar functions almost the same. Have you seen that movie already? In this sentence, we don't have ever. What we have is already. Yes, I have already seen that movie, or I have seen that movie already. No, I haven't already seen that movie, or no, I haven't seen that movie yet. Okay? Next one. What have you had for lunch today? I've had pizza for lunch. I've had stinky tofu for lunch. I've had salad for lunch. All right? This one's actually a little weird because it would serve just as well to use past simple tense, which we haven't learned yet. So, you know, just keep that in mind. It is totally okay to use past simple tense in this context. What did you eat for lunch today? All right, next one. Where have you been? Where have you been? All right, so a lot of times when we ask this question, this is one of the questions where we will actually answer in a different tense than the question which makes it a little confusing, but it's fully possible to answer in present perfect tense. Where have you been? I've been at school this whole time, okay? But a lot of times when people ask this sentence without anything else at the end of it, where have you been? You're, maybe it's your mom saying, wondering why you haven't been at home for so long. And you say, oh, I was with my friends. Okay, so that is actually a past simple uh, sentence similar in many ways, but it doesn't work as a perfect tense, okay? It doesn't work as present perfect. Next one. Who have you spoken with? 
who have you spoken with? Again, we got have in our question. We're going to have have in our answer here. So I have spoken with blah, blah, blah. So I have spoken with my mom. I have spoken with my dad. I have spoken with my friends. I have spoken with Rain. Okay, all of these will work to answer the question. And that is it basically for our present perfect tense video. We're really flying through these. So let's not delay any longer. Let's end the video here. And next time we're gonna learn something a little bit different. Goodbye.